Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade. And today I'm coming to you from the Brokrock SMP. I've made a start on my castle, which I'm stood upon at the moment. But first of all, we're going to pop over to the mail room because I got some post. I got a little gift. I put out a request and Callie responded to that request and dropped the stuff off. So I'm going over there now. We still don't have our own portal yet. Um, so I'm still using Dust Portal. But as soon as the castle's done, then we can have our own portal. Uh, yep, let's just get through here and get to the uh, get to the post room. Oh no, have I made up enough have I cleared enough inventory space? Plus uh, Oh god, I'm not gonna catch you all, am I? Oh hang on a minute. Is my shulker box full? Ooh, who knows? Let's just get there first and just double check it. I love this um this never place. It's really cool. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Get carried away there. Let's get to the post room. I want to check my post box. Okay, made it at last to our little post room. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, Callie, for getting that to me. That's just about enough, or probably a bit too much, actually. But, yeah, that's great stuff. So let's get this uh, docked up and let's get back to base. I just want to have a look around this uh, post room, see what, um, what everyone else has done so there's still some people that haven't decorated their little areas yet so this is starting right at the very back so let's start from the back and make our way up who's decorated still no decoration there oh there's me look fully decorated i pop in and me looking jubilant there next to my post box as you do this one's from t Nice, quite nice. Who's this one? Mr. Pretzel. Ooh. Vines. We can climb up the vines. And we can climb down the vines. Pretty cool. Rusty here with that poopy face tomato nose, not tomato. Who we got here? Good samurai. Looking good. Guys, mail room. I like this. I like the lighting around there. That's pretty cool. Very nice. And yeah, a bit of a cyberpunky copper blocks going off there. Hmm. Anyone else? And we're still missing some ads on the group there. But yeah, overall, this is a good little post room area, isn't it? I love it. Let's get back to base. Okay, like I said earlier, I've actually started on this um, castle type build. Um, I needed to get the door finished first because there was a lot of redstone involved in there. So I needed to get all that sorted sorted out first because that was basically the hardest part of this build, believe it or not. I'm still a beginner at redstone. I'm still learning. And I tried and tried and I just couldn't get this redstone door working. So I watched loads and loads of videos and eventually did get it working. But there is a bit of a glitch sometimes. Um, one block will hang just there. So let me just give you a demonstration. So we're going in. Oh, and it's done it on the very first time I mention it. You see what I mean? Now, I don't know if this is a, a glitch in Minecraft or in Bedrock or if it's just my dodgy redstone um, that does it. It doesn't do it all the time. It's only every now and then. But the best thing to do when it does do it, to reset it, is press the same button that actually caused it. So if we do that again... And... If the door's closed, that would typically mean that we're inside. So, come around this way. 
press this button, let's see. Yay! See, that's how it should work. So, yeah, that's the little door. So we come out and close it. And, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And the beauty of it is these nine blocks here can be almost any block. Um, so I did play with a few different designs before I decided on the uh, bamboo blocks. And through the middle we've got uh, copper, copper blocks, which I've waxed with honeycomb. So they are permanently uh, waxed and they won't oxidize or change color. So they'll stay this color all the time. And I think it looks okay. I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, also underneath here, this is all slabs. Um, we've got underfloor heating, uh, underfloor heating. No, we don't, we don't have underfloor heating. We have underfloor lighting, which I can show you. So we've got loads of lighting under there. So at night time, this is all lit up and the lighting is under there along with all the redstone under there as well. So it's um it's coming along nicely also made a start on a um little turret type thing here i'm probably gonna have one of these uh, over on that side as well and over here um i can't remember if i explained this or not this is going to be like a, a, a waterway that flows out of this um lake um and it's i'm going to give it the effect that it's a bottomless pit by using um dark and black blocks um so i'm going to go a bit deeper um so that should look pretty cool and it's got the water all the way around it and obviously we've got mossy blocks here uh, mossy i did say moldy yes i said mossy mossy blocks here because you'd expect to see that around um water and here we're going to have something that comes up up and out up and out and it'll probably come about maybe this far out it might be quite high up and probably about this far out um so yeah it's gonna be an unusual looking castle that quite possibly may turn into a citadel or perhaps a hybrid citadel castle because i like uh castle designs and citadel designs so maybe merge the designs together to give us something even more unique um i want to do something up there on the top i haven't decided yet because it looks a bit strange so let's uh <laughs> let's let a firework off that's what i meant to do and now i'm gonna fly you see i know what i'm doing i know how to play this game sometimes and we want to be on here so here as you can see um could put some um acacia slabs in maybe just to raise it slightly and keep this um, acacia look going, this central sort of like line, I guess. Yeah, I think I might do that. But yeah, so this is where we're at with the uh, castle design. Obviously still a lot more work to do, but the hardest job is done. All that redstone even though there is a slight glitch with it I, I, I can live with that um that's of course i can uh find a tutorial or an, another design where that glitch doesn't happen um it just could be just with be with the redstone that i've done i might have just missed a little bit out of place or i might have put something wrong out of place but for the most part it works so i'd, I'd say 98 percent working three by three redstone door 
which, considering I'm still a beginner at Redstone, um, I'm quite proud of and quite happy with. So we have that, and oops, that wasn't meant to happen, but it did. <laughs> and inside, I want to give this effect of it getting smaller and smaller the closer you got to the door, and that is quite nice. Quite happy with it. Still might um, add add to this inside just to maybe tidy it up a bit better maybe you know just make it look a bit neater but yeah it's all coming along nicely so there we have it so i've been working on the uh, castle and the castle area made a bit of progress done a bit of terraforming had a bit of splatterings of mud may add a bit more done a few bits and bobs to the castle so uh yeah Let's go and have a look, and we'll uh, bring Dogblade with us too. So, we've got the two... Ooh, let's uh, get to here properly. So we've got the two uh, towers, more or less, built. And a basic... Uh, I say basic, it's basic so far. Little bridgeway going across. Um, I just need to finish the top of each of the towers finish that bridgeway across obviously get all the main wall in um so let's have a quick look at the splatterings of mud and coarse dirt i've done just to make it uh i don't know just to make it look that bit uh look that bit better i think um but it looks like a kind of looks like a used area um yeah we still got the three by three door i think i know where i went wrong with this i think it's because i kind of tried to get clever with it uh beyond my own capabilities and and knowledge rather than just going for a, a, a basic three by three i think i tried to do not make it spiral but just make it so it looks a bit uh, a bit more random as as the blocks are disappearing um i mean i could have uh, put either pistons on just this side or just this side and had them all pulled in that way or all pulled in that way um or even all, all pulled down um i just wanted to try and do something different so it went 100 percent successful due to the little uh glitch that i told you about which i'm pretty certain it is is down to my uh my redstoning and not any kind of bug or glitching uh minecraft so yeah i'm gonna take that one on the chin i mean it's 90 percent um efficient what do you reckon dog blade 90 percent yeah let's say 90 percent so um uh, maybe come back to it later and see if we can uh improve on it as my knowledge increases but yeah so look at the uh little bit of terraforming we've got around here and i've finally done the stream of doom so what I, I wanted to achieve here is make it look like it was just bottomless it's a bottomless void below there so it's just all dark because you obviously can't see the bottom and if we dive in i'll show you how i did this so i used a layer of black concrete and then over the black concrete I put a layer of black stained over it, and I think that's uh, I think that's achieved the effect that I wanted. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Still got more to do. Can we make this jump? I tried to make it so you can make it an odd jump. Dog blade definitely can't make that jump, but he loves the water. He likes to have a little swim. Yeah, yes, you do. Uh, oh yes, shake yourself off. Um, the next thing here obviously i want to get those towers completed and i think we're gonna to have to install the flooring and because i can't really build on here until i've installed the whole floor design you'll know what i mean when we uh when we get to do that but yeah all in all um it's looking okay and i can't wait to get started on on this bit here 
that's going to come ooh, up and over and just add some size. And I'm also considering, I haven't made a decision yet, but I am considering it. Maybe having some kind of building come out the back here. Not the whole length, that's obviously no. But just something that maybe comes out. I mean, we've got enough space to play with. It won't take much to add a few more dirt blocks here and there if I need to. So yeah, that's um, that's where we're at. And I'm quite happy with this. Come on, Dogblade, let's get back. And another thing we need to consider is I don't like having my pets out in, in the open like this. I mean, it's all right for Dogblade and his little friend because they get to go indoors. He even gets to sit on my bed <laughs> like the good boy that he is. But these guys, they always are. Um, I haven't even come up with names with them yet, have I? No, I haven't even named them yet. So what I need to do is make some kind of a pet house and I don't want to make individual houses for each one I want to make um, one house that houses all of them even um, an apartment for um, the dogs as well so um, so at least four apartments basically um, uh, why am I calling them apartments because I don't want to call it a shed and I don't want to call it a pet home I want them um, to feel loved and welcomed so they're going to have apartments kind of and we've got all this area here and i'm thinking this could be the ideal area for um housing the pets so that's something else to look forward to um over here we have our little uh bee farm and wheat farm and we getting the uh starting to get the only i need to um i need to automate this i think um but can i automate it for both honeycombs and honey or is it one or the other that i'm going to need to choose um i'm not sure i need to look into that so um yeah so that's a, a, another job on the list of jobs to do but before we do anything else we just need to go and get some sleep so here me and love dust have decided to make a, a villager trading all we've already built a, a villager breeder over behind there which i'm going to show you in a minute and hopefully um hopefully that's working i'm going to test it because i need um some efficiency and some fortune so we need to get these all these librarians locked in but love dust has made us start on this uh on the roof up here uh this place is gonna look really fancy really fancy so we've got these villagers here um and we've built this villager breeder here oh what fun it was to build this it was we got the first um got the first villager in the pod no problems but the second one the amount of bus and amount of temps eventually had to get him over temporarily have that pod as two blocks and then use the piston to like push him into place then quickly remove the piston and quickly replace it with the block the block on both in but we've got him in now so that's all good so yeah everything is everything is looking tickety boo and i'm happy for now <laughs> So lot of time on for a short while and we've done a bit more around here. Uh loved us did all this by the way. So we've got like a nice smaller proper entrance here. Um we've temporarily stored some of our villagers in here out the way, nice and safe, just for a while. And what I'm trying to do now is get smite five on this guy so that's what we're going to try and uh get so what's he on at the moment Have a look. nope so we'll um we'll keep going at it until we get smite five
have smite five. So we better get this guy locked in. The next thing I want is soul speed. Uh, so let's just get this guy locked in. Let's do Definitely locked in, isn't he? It's definitely locked in. I'm not sure why I can't... Oh, of course. <laughs> That's why I can't trade anymore, because I've only got six animals left, but it's definitely locked in. So, that's another geezer locked in. This is all good. Next one we want is um, probably soul speed. Um, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Let's get this uh, broken down and we'll get moving. So I'm just popping into the mail room because I've heard, I've heard something that there's a nice surprise in my post box and probably in everyone's post box to be fair and i can't wait to go and check it out and it looks like some more people have done more decorating too and why am i struggling to walk um because yeah walking is hard so let's have a quick look in here then shall we oh i didn't want to do that i didn't want to do that i wanted to do that let's have a quick look in here what we got oh put it in our hand Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a bit, bit of um, artwork from Old Guy, and it is absolutely awesome. Look at that. Thank you very much, Old Guy. I was going to actually ask you for one of these, but you, you've been kind enough to drop it in my post box anyway. That is brilliant. I love it, and it's coming home with me. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> How about we get our pets in a proper home? Get them all sorted out, because in the open like this, you know, I'm surprised they've actually lasted so long. But we're not going to make anything fancy. It's just going to be a standard, um, standard home fence. I'm going to use acacia fences, because acacia fences are good. Where's this all come from? Who knows? Let's just get all these fences knocked down. We just go yoink. 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 Ah, come on, stay on it. That's better. I can see love dust over there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Let's go and sneak up on love dust. See if we can hit her with an arrow. Or, or at least scare her. <laughs> Let's see. Right. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she at? I can't see her tags anymore. Oh. Over here somewhere. What's he doing over here? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. She shouldn't be able to see my tags. <laughs> it's the noticed. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> oh, God, how many shots did I do there? That... <laughs> oh, you didn't notice for her, you just... <laughs> oh. Oh, that, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> so, the creatures are happy. Daz is happy. 
the wandering traders happy are you happy wandering trader are you happy what you got on offer oh you've got my head on offer where'd you get that from hmm anyway i think that's gonna um wrap it up for today folks so i hope you enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and any feedback constructive criticism always welcome in the comments below okay then bye what do you mean that's going to wrap it up just want to do a bit more to this fence because i think we can make it look better you know we do something like this and let's get another one there and i think this is going to look quite ah ooh, ah hmm if we have a yeah, let's do free giver. So, uh, I mean, it gives it a bit of variation. It doesn't all have to be the same, does it? Now we're done. Now we can wrap it up. Now I can say bye.